Again, mic was not on, not just because I didn't have the into my mouth, but the mic was um, set in the position where uh, I didn't put the setting on to record the mic. Um, so I gotta fix that for the, the default. Um, well, yeah. So this is what full screen looks like. You can actually see more of my background. You can read the title of my books if you hold the video big enough. Um, you know, I you know I just wanted to get the video over with, even though it's, I'm a little bit ahead of you know the release date. But at least this time, hopefully, I get time to publish some more fro notes. Um, as well as, you know, we just give you a preview of, um, you know, for, for this next, I guess, because there's four of them, it's going to go last eight weeks, pretty much till the end of the term almost, or pretty much at, to the end of the term, I'm only going to be talking about Timothy. Um, so as you can see by the schedule here, cause I didn't do it that week. So we ended up doing Psalms. So we are doing Timothy now. There's gonna be um this is this is the week that you're watching. And then um when I get to the next um uh, I've been busy looking for work and I'm busy, you know, with school and all sorts of stuff. Um, you know, trying to get my business started maybe as another alternative source of income. Um, so this is what um, First Timothy two uh, two nine is the verse I decided to translate. Like I said, I'll try to translate one Hebrew verse. The thing is, um, the Hebrew itself for New Testament is actually translated from like probably the Greek or some other language. So it's not really originally written in Hebrew. Um, so, but based on the way they try to write it, uh, it makes so to see the verse in English. There's a few different translations. I have, I don't know where I put it. Uh, 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 no, sorry about that. Just, just messing around a little bit earlier. Anyways, the verse, the, I, I guess I didn't have the, uh, I'm pretty sure I got the source here somewhere, but anyway, that, let's not waste time. So anyways, this is what this says in this particular NESB 1995, um, which I guess is fairly close to the Greek as opposed to the Hebrew is what uh, Mary usually says about NASB, but so it's probably fairly close to the Greek possibly. Um, it, nonetheless, it is more of a literal translation as opposed to a paraphrase. Um, I was doing John 15 the other day. Uh, well, it's probably, re it probably released uh, that John 15 before I released this video. Um, that I'm trying to paraphrase, but I wasn't actually using original language for that paraphrase, the one I have on my blog. Um, but this is, this is what the, uh, this is probably like a more literal translation. I don't feel like, yeah, cause that's with the italics is because that's, that's probably cause that's the interpretive part. Cause I don't feel that the Hebrew is saying that. I don't know about the Greek, um, but like I said, the Hebrew is probably translated from the Greek, not the not the so there. So there probably isn't such a word uh, a word in the uh, Hebrew. Um, there is some good notes. Um, let's see uh, in the um, revised edition, which is another version you can get off NASB. I was just sorry. I mean off Bible Gateway. I was just getting it read um, for me with this pro uh, this uh, website so uh, there's a uh, automatic dictation so here it says yeah so women are not to take part in this so it, it, a lot of it like um in this passage is just talking about like the uh, men and women roles like you know men should be like this and you know they talk about like and they, they assume that deacons are men but they also in the comment in those notes as well as different commentaries like oh you know women can be uh you know like deacons can be women women can be deacons too that's so basically actually a lot of the previous roles women were more deacons than they were like um, priests or um whatever or um pastors i guess uh, but they actually didn't use the term they didn't actually call anybody a pastor back then <laughs> it's like e either you're an apostle or you're a disciple or, or like some other but um 
the apostle term was more used, like you know, with Paul and other. Um, but uh, I don't want to go into too much detail because I'm trying to cover like three chapters, and I don't want to go like okay, talk a lot about like one particular topic, and then like ended up okay. Well, like I I'm not really covering like an overview of the three chapters that I want to do. Um, it's, because I talked already like 15 minutes about like half a chapter like uh, so then but um, the overview of Timothy um, is it is an instructional um, book for from Paul to his younger apprentice Timothy when he tries to lead I think it's the church in Ephesus I have to double check the notes um, I, I think I've, that's what I read the other day but I just don't remember exactly off the top of my head so let me just double check that so I'm gonna pause for a second all right, I would tr try to find you a resource. The uh, camera fell from its position, so that's why I'm not really going back to it. Uh, unfortunately, my mouse cable is too short for the new setup here, and it, it the, the 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 cable knocked the tension on the camera, and then that actually knocked the camera down. And the camera's been having some trouble, as I mentioned in the last video. So hopefully, it's not going to cause further damage. Um, I don't really want to invest in a new camera right now. And this camera is actually not too bad. I mean, it's just it's just that for some reason the driver doesn't. Well, or maybe my zoom is automatically adjusting to my connection speed is what um, a matter of thing I was told. So like maybe I have priority to maintain good connection. So I just transmit lower video over zoom. Oh boy! I guess I didn't make a good decision to uh, try to finish this tonight. I don't think the the program allows me to uh, append videos. Um, so you know what? Maybe I'll do this in uh, two parts, <laughs> um, and then just upload two separate videos, and then have them, I guess, premiere fifteen minutes back to back. Uh, unfortunately, today tonight's not really my night. Uh, oh, okay. It's not, it's not going to work. All right, so it says here, Likewise, I want women to adorn themselves with proper clothing, modestly and directly, but not with braided hair, golds, or pearls, or costly garments. So even this is, a, other than this, like which is, like I said, maybe interpreted, um, because that's why it's half is in italics, the NSSB is pretty close to the Hebrew, even though the Hebrew itself is also translated from the Greek. So using the uh, Sar Shalom edition of the Bible, which uh, here it is, yes, uh, the First Timothy. Um, this is, and see even so, I, I actually have it like I had to write down a lot of the what the words meant because I a lot of the vocabulary is not um, wasn't covered in my one course in Hebrew so far, um, so. Oh, I also need my lexicon. So I'll just briefly translate it. And then we'll talk about some of the other verses that... Um, and yes, um, Paul as actually is uh, training Timothy to be the next um, leader in the Church of Ephesus. According to the NIV. But I'll post another... Um, try to find a website with a good comment. With a, like a good... Maybe not very in-depth commentary, but like... A, one that's like his that's fairly accurate and creditable i'll try to find one that that's you know available for free for that fortunately i don't have a sod event series on the timothy um for, from like uh, when i got access in the summer so i i have like a few like i did have an ephesians one i have a corinthians one but i don't have a one for timothy i guess because it's such a short book that it wasn't very popular for them to do but I mean, i'm sure somebody has a a written commentary just not a video commentary so and then this way so like uh, this first word is um so kind of like like likewise or in the same way so there's many translations as like depending on the for the most part is probably uh here and and such is, is kind of what this first word means um so like you, you know most english translations even that one i think they'll say just like also and 
and also like the women so in Hebrew a lot of things are just like um, so I think this hey became a strong hey I don't remember if it is part of the virtual doubling for this particular word it's a very unique case um, but like this word I couldn't actually find it in the lexicon when I looked it up uh, it, even in the um, not using the the electronic lexicon I try to find it in the so I think this is kind of like a modern like a, like this could be like a Hebrew word that was invented bef um, when they started translating different versions of the Bible so that's why it's not considered classical Hebrew um, but this is basically they're just saying you know the, making yourself beautiful or beautification that's the word here and and also women's beautification should be in so this is a very complicated uh, phrase here as well I remember looking it up. Uh, okay, I, I got the page here. It's basically it should be like um, fitting to to their face of uh, 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 um, fitting and suitable for their f and suitable. What's that? Uh, I have it here. I think I wrote down. Yeah, and suit. Oh, yeah. Because uh, there was many translations for this one, um, that that the second word. So I guess it, but basically it's something like suitable towards their face and modesty. Because that's the word for face, but usually it means a direction. But I, so it's basically I think it's it's, it's very complicated uh, Hebrew um, I guess phrase that they're phrasing that they use. Probably I might learn more of it that that it's more commonly used when I. When I, if I when and if I do the second Hebrew course, but it's basically um, face is usually not just say like you know like a human face like oh my face your face kind of thing but sort of like it usually means like facing east or whatever most of the time or like uh, like or like uh, the compound word of using face is like you know in front of God or in the face of God so 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 in the context of the, their modesty that's what it's saying. Uh, so women should be fitting to uh, and, and dressing like that's why it says you know like um, ador adorning themselves modestly. So um, so that's why here dressing and ador adorning. Oh, I think that was yeah. See, I see the same three letters. So that's probably what they're saying. So this is an expression of you know appropriate dress and and modestly and not. Let's see here. Where did that second time and use the address? Oh, here. Uh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, here. Yeah, so they should be... What? Okay, so they should be dressing in a way that's appropriate to the, like, to the face of, like, towards modesty. So I think that's what it's saying. It's like, you should dress uh, appropriately towards... That, that something that looks modest like you know facing towards like that's that points to modesty that's what they're saying and not and not and it's like not so not 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 all these are like a conjunction not so basically they're saying like you should not be braiding your head and you should sh and 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 not in gold and not in like this is uh, I think clothing. Is that what I have here? Is that? Nope. This is clothes. Um, this was what's the word here? Beautification again? No. It's so all of these are plural just to match like the way that the Hebrew grammar works. They you all use the plural ending with here um, clothes that are expensive. Expensive is not normally, it's a noun, they're saying something expensive, but they add the plural to match it. So they're just saying like the clothes, expensive. Um, it has to match the plural if the clothes, so because they're saying that the clothes are expensive. That's what they're saying. So you shouldn't be dressing in expensive clothes. Well, I mean, it's it's, it's expensive clothes. That's what they're saying. You know, like, uh, they're like the same way we would kind of say it in English, except they're saying clothes expensive. But like the you know the translation is expensive clothes, um, which is the proper translation for this grammar here as well. So, um, but Hebrew grammar does it differently. They would say clothes expensive. 
and th that's why this here is close and then expensive it reads right to left and this is uh what do i have here pearls yes and not in pearls and gold and expensive clothes so basically the the wording is the same um so before i go to bed <laughs> the context is just saying that women should dress modestly and they should um you know uh they should dress appropriately so that they can um you know so they don't dress like the women of the culture where they want to you know show off their um beauty or show off how great they are or or in other contexts you will see paul saying like oh you, know, you gotta wear a head covering so you don't want to almost like you know sell your body you want to sell your inner beauty that's basically it's also relevant to the context in corinthians about wearing a covering so you don't want to dress like the <laughs> like a prostitute um basically it is part of that context as well um so that's i like i said i try to practice at least pr translating at least one verse for each week that i'm doing um these messages so i'll try to continue the second one um so there'll be two uploads for this week and they'll probably be premiering very close to each other time wise <laughs>